there, First Philly, especially Mrs. Van Ness and Mr. Norton's class. Welcome once again to Mrs. Allen's Music Room. Uh, and happy Monday. Hope everyone had a great weekend. We're just kind of chillaxing. The weather was great, so hopefully you got outside for a little bit. I got to do some gardening, actually. I was pretty excited about. I do not usually have a very good green thumb, but... Uh, <laughs> I thought I would give it a try. I saw so many people on social media telling me, you know, how well their gardening was going. So I figured I would give it a try myself. I started with some flowers. And over the summer, when I have a lot more time to devote to just gardening and doing that, uh, I'm going to try and grow some vegetables for myself. I'm um, probably going to start with things that are pretty easy to grow, like cucumbers, like squash, uh, things like that. Maybe I'll grow some carrots. Carrots are pretty easy to grow. Um, but I'll try and keep you guys up to date on it, um, especially over the summer. I might keep adding videos to this channel. I don't know. Uh, they'll probably mostly be karaoke videos because I absolutely adore doing karaoke videos and... That's been a part of my lesson plan so far, so why stop, right? So, last week we had our calm word that was tranquility. And we talked about what that meant, and I tried to keep that with me kind of throughout my week. Um, and this week we have a new word that we're going to be looking at, and it is enlightenment. Enlightenment is a state of being usually found in Eastern religions like Buddhism or um, Islam uh, that talks about how you can kind of go above and beyond having the knowledge of the universe. Basically, enlightenment is coming to peace with yourself, understanding your place in the universe, and uh, using your intelligence to better the world around you. Is all of what's kind of wrapped up in the enlightenment. So definitely try and keep that in mind with your um, lessons this week that you're pretty close to achieving enlightenment in a lot of subjects, I would say. So make sure you just keep pushing and eventually you'll reach it. So enlightenment for this week, for sure. Um, I also want to talk to you guys about um, our lessons last week. On Friday, we talked about Groovy Joe, and we played you a little song. If you're groovy and you know it, hug a friend. And we talked about how we probably recognize that song uh, as if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. And Miss Allen kept messing up the words, so <laughs> because that's so uh, deep in my brain that we learned that song when I was in elementary school. So to hear different words with it can sometimes be pretty confusing. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about the karaoke track that I left for you guys on your last video. That was so, because you already knew the melody of that song, that I figured that would be a pretty good way to introduce you guys to improvisation. So improvisation is kind of the idea behind our lesson this, uh, today. Um, we are going to talk a little bit about it as we go through our week, but actually the rest of our week is going to be talking more about instruments um, than it is directly about improv. Uh, so yeah, we are going to kind of talk about the different kinds of improv, what instruments and um, you know vocalists can use in order to create a great solo. And um, I'm going to give you guys another chance at, if you're groovy and you know it, hug a friend, um, to maybe write yourself some new lyrics or to do some scat singing. Scat singing is a way for jazz singers to improvise on the melody without having to think of a whole new set of words that they can just kind of make up their own syllables as they go. And um, that is what they use instead of writing lyrics for a song that they want to improvise over. So we're going to talk about all of that because we're going to read this book today. Now, I really, really like this book. It is called La 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 by Kate DiCamillo. And Kate DiCamillo is actually the person who writes the 
Mercy Watson books. I don't know if you guys know about Mercy Watson yet, but um, she is a funny little pig <laughs> that lives with a family and they get into all kinds of hijinks and there's actually like six books written about um, Mercy Watson. So um, this is that same author. It's a different illustrator than the person who illustrates Mercy Watson. This person, Jamie Kim, uh, actually was working on this book because she really liked the idea of the story not having any words. Now I'll show you what I mean by that. So there are words here on the front. There, so you're saying, Miss Ellen, what do you mean? This book is called La La La. So, you know, there's at least some words in it. But actually, the only word you're going to see in this book is la. So that gives us a lot of freedom when we read this story. It means that I would be able to kind of just pick my own melody, pick my own um, tune that I already know, and apply it to just the la's that are in this story. So let's read it on through. This is La 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 by Kate DiCamillo. And uh, for our read through, I'm probably going to go with a classic uh, like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And so I'm going to stick with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and add it to my la la la's in this book. Ooh, and really exciting actually um, this the school that I used to work at was a Hicken charter school uh, they actually had two campuses to their school um, and I worked at the Aubrey campus of that school and actually Kate DiCamillo came in to talk to our second and third graders about Mercy Watson and signed this book for our librarian actually Miss Kate and she decided that because uh, Miss Allen was a music teacher that she would let her have this book. So super nice of Miss Kate. Shout out to her in the library. Um, and shout out to Kate DeMillo, or DiCamillo who actually signed this copy it looks like. Pretty cool. La. La 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 La
No.
the end there, friends. And I always do the last page together because I feel like eventually she and the moon or the sun are kind of singing it together, whatever the song may be. So, um, you could see that maybe my melody didn't work exactly with the book, but I still pushed it all the way through and it ended up being pretty close there at the end that it almost matched up with um, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, right? So that was your second kind of foray into um, improv. And we're gonna talk a little bit now about um, instead of making up your own melody, which we just did in La La La, we're gonna make up our own words for if you're groovy and you know it, hug a friend. So I'm gonna play it for you one time through. This is the karaoke version. Um, so you guys can, you know, if you had a chance to write lyrics over the weekend or if you wanted to jot some down before you listen to this all the way through, feel free. And yeah, so here is, if you're groovy and you know it, hug a friend. there friends hope that you could pretty clearly hear uh, your track and hope you could come up with seven different verses for your song <laughs> didn't realize that that your karaoke track would be that long but they're pretty short verses uh, so I will see you guys on Wednesday uh, on Wednesday we're gonna be looking at the sections of the orchestra and also instrument families because on Friday we're gonna take a look at some real live instruments that Miss Allen happens to have in her house in various places um, and I want to kind of show them to you and demonstrate them a little bit and I will see you then all right and uh, stay tuned for your music mindfulness and uh, we are doing a squatchy rock go noodle for our uh, movement for today all right have a good one guys see you later